Okay. Notice that the, the scale reads, reads negative 2.47, and that's because the weighing bolt weighs 2.47. So the idea of using the scale is to make sure that you press this tear button so that it zeroes it, so that the anything that you put on, that's the true mass of the item because the weighing boat has already been taken into consideration. Welcome to Lab 5, the mall counting by weighing. This is a preview of the procedure that you will be doing in this lab. So we set the scale to grams, we put the weighing boat, and then teared it. Tear means that the scale is set to zero so that the weighing bolt will have um, no mass when the nuts are placed. So I'm taking all the nuts from my packet and then I'm going to weigh it. So take all the nuts and just uh, place it on the um, weighing bolt. And then what you will do is um, record the total mass. In this particular case, the total mass is 34.01. There's a total of um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 nuts. And so 34.01 grams divided by 11. Each nut weighs an average of 3.09 grams. The next thing we will do is place the weighing boat again on the scale. Make sure you tear it so it reads zero and then take all your bolts and here we have five bolts and the mass of the five bolts is 53.82 grams so if you take 53.82 grams and you divide it by five that comes out to Ten point seven six four grams a piece. Place the weighing boat on the scale, and then this time take one nut bolt. Take a second nut bolt. Take a third nut bolt, and a fourth nut bolt and a fifth nut bolt and this will give you again the mass of five bn molecules so if you take the mass which is read as 69.25 and you divide that by five then each bn molecule weighs 13.85 grams. The next thing you want to do is take, again, make sure that you tear your scale each time so that it reaches zero. Take a second nut bolt and do this again for all five. And what you should see is the total mass of five BN2 molecules. And what you can do next is um, get the average mass for this. And the total is 84.7 see 84.72 so if you take 84.72 and divide it by 5 what you get is 16.944 4 grams for each BN2 for BN3 what you will need to do is you're going to have less because you don't have enough um, nuts to do 3 so what you're going to do is just um, remove Take some of the nuts from the BN2 and make a BN3. 
That's one. That's two. And that's three. I only have enough hardware to make three BN3 molecules. That mass is 60.10. And now I need to divide it by three because I only have three here. So each BN3 weighs 20.033 grams. You do the same thing for the BN4. We remove all of this. Okay. And what we want to do is, again, make sure we tear the scale and we put a fourth nut on these. And I believe the only thing we can do here is make um, let's see, two of these. And that's okay. You're limited by the hardware you have. So let's... Uh, See what we can do here. So there's two, and that mass comes out to 46.22. And now we need to divide by two. So each is 23.11 grams. So the next part of this procedure is the Lego bricks. Remember that the 2x2 two two Lego bricks are labeled F for four pegs, and you can see the four pegs here. And the 2x4 two Lego bricks are labeled E for the eight pegs. So what you see right here are the bricks that are weighed individually. So you can pause the video and jot down the mass of each brick in the end, there, there will be 10 2x2 two two bricks that are weighed. You should go ahead and add that up and compare it to the sum total at the end of this particular procedure. So this right here is Lego brick number 6. And then we have Lego brick number 7. Number 8. number nine and then in the next segment you will see all the bricks connected together all ten of them and then the mass will be displayed for all ten of them you should take that mass divide it by ten and that will be the average mass of one two by two brick that you will use when you do your calculation So this part of the procedure is the weighing of the 2x4 bricks. These are brick E for the 8 peg. So what you will see as in the weighing of the 2x2 two two bricks are Legos 1 through 10. Again, you can pause the video and write down the mass as shown on the scale for each of the bricks and then add them all up at the end and compare it to the, to the mass when all the bricks are placed together. Remember that you will need the mass of a the average mass of a 2x4 brick and a 2x2 two two brick in order to do the calculation.
So we're coming up on the ninth brick. And then we have the tenth brick coming up. And then what you will see in the video is all ten bricks, one through ten, put together and then placed on the scale. The mass that you see here is the total mass for the ten bricks. In order to get the average, take that value and divide by ten. Finally, one of the 2x4 bricks and two of the 2x2 two two bricks are put together. So this is what you would call the EF2 molecule, kind of like water, where water has two hydrogens and one oxygen. So what you will see here, as in the previous video segments, are the weighing of each of the EF2 what we call molecules okay so you again you can take the mass of each individual EF2 molecules and write that down and at the end what you will see is 10 EF2 molecules placed on the weighing boat and what you should see is the mass of all 10 to get the average mass, you can take that total mass and divide by 2. So this is EF2 for number 7. EF2 for number 8. Notice that some of these EF2 molecules will have different colored bricks. The different colors do not vary the mass of each one of these. We can just use the average. So this is number 10. And finally, this last segment shows all 10 bricks on the weighing boat. You need to be careful to make sure it's balanced across the scale because if the bricks are on one side or the other, it will offset the precision of that scale. So here are the 10 bricks and that's the mass. After Recording the initial data, I'm done with the experiment. The rest of the lab will be doing calculations.